Celtic Throwdown is happening this weekend in Dublin, Ireland. Of course, the main focus is Street Fighter V. This is a global premiere event. Many of the top names are attending, including the EVO 2019 champ Bon Chan, Punk, who's mm -hmm. currently number one in the rankings. What are some of the storylines that you're following going into this one? Yeah, I mean, that's the fascinating one for me is that uh, we have Bon Chan fresh off a win at EVO. I feel very similarly about Street Fighter currently as I do for Tekken, but I feel like there's even more urgency in terms of qualifying for the Capcom Pro Tour Finals. There was supposed to be an event last weekend in Hong Kong uh, that was a CPT premiere event for Asia, and that event uh, got canceled. You know, obviously right now there's a lot of stuff going on in Hong Kong that makes holding an event there a little difficult. And because that event was canceled, there's a ton of premier level points in Asia in that region that is just gone now. And that region is probably the strongest region for Street Fighter by far. I think Japan is the strongest country for that game. So I think a lot of the players from Japan are already planned to be qualified. But that is a huge chunk of points that they really wanted and needed that has now like been removed from them able to grasp, right? So I think it's in the same kind of spot where if you're someone like Bon Chan, if you're someone like Punk, really like the top five on the CPT this year has been so dominant. They've been squeezing out the points. If you look at the point breakdown on the Capcom Pro Tour website, it's CapcomProTour.com. The point breakdown from like one through five is super top heavy. And then after that, from about 19 to like 30 or so, there's like a hundred point difference between all of the competitors, which is like one event difference. It's literally anything could just flip the coin on where they end up. So right now, if you're not one of those players who's been dominating and winning CPT events, you need to figure out a way to get those points. But the hard thing is, is like, you know, they've been dominating for a reason. You have guys like Bon Chan, who's now the EVO champion this year, Machibo, Punk, Problem Max, you know, Fujimura, Tokido. These guys have been so incredibly consistent at the top of the uh, Capcom Pro Tour that, like, you have to hope that all of them somehow have a bad weekend. Otherwise, these points are just going to get snatched up. Say, Jam, I've been a Street Fighter fan since World Warrior, and that means I have a soft spot in my heart for Daigo. I see him on the tournament. <laughs> Put a percentage. What's the percentage that he makes a good run at this tournament? I think the percentage is pretty high. I would say like 85%. I feel like in my head, I remember him winning this event in the past, if I'm not mistaken. The year starts to blend together. And I think Daigo is at the point of the year, he always kind of does the same thing. Daigo starts the year, and he gets into like the top 10 or so. He's like, you know, number like six or seven. And then Daigo's like, I'll be fine. He like. By the way, Daigo is 13th right now with 675 points. So he's sitting pretty. Not bad. Yep. Not bad for our yeah, boy. He was, like, he was like around 7th or 8th, I think, at one point, And then he just like stopped gaining points for months. He's like, I'll be fine. Like He just knows. you know. He's like, I've done this so many times. There's no point for me to go out there and travel to all these events and you know go through like jet lag and go through just being tired from all of this. He's like, it'll be fine. I'm in there. Let's shift focus to Mortal Kombat 11. Of course, when you talk MK11 esports tournaments, you have to talk about Sonic Fox. However, say Jam, huge mm -hmm. development on stream live. Sonic Fox shaved the mustache, which we all know is the source of his power. So this must be great for the rest of the field. Yeah, there was what people didn't know is that like part of Sonic Fox is he has that caterpillar. You know, he's you know a furry. He's all into that stuff. He had the caterpillar across the lip. That was his source of power. Mm -hmm. I feel like without that thing on there, he has to either shave the rest of the face, or like he has no chance at Celtic Throwdown. He is the Evolution Champion, as you mentioned, one of the most dominant uh, NRS players of all time. And the thing is, is that this tournament, Celtic Throwdown, you brought up like CPT, right? CPT Premier Event. That's awesome. It's uh, a pro competition event for Mortal Kombat. It's a Dragon Ball Tenkaichi event. It's got one of the most stacked Puyo Puyo Tetris tournaments I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it's like an unbelievable event, right? So like, you know, Sonic Fox came off of that Evo Finals. In, at Evo, he had Grand Finals in Dragon Ball and Grand Finals in Mortal Kombat in the same day. He got second place and first place at Evo. And I think going into Mortal Kombat here, Basically, all of the best players from Europe are going to be here, obviously. But many of the U.S. players have traveled out. I think traditionally, if you look at Street Fighter, many of the players on the Capcom Pro Tour don't tend to travel as much. Celtic Throwdown, there is a few of them there. But the U.S. players have all come out. I mean, you have guys like Sonic Fox and you have Dragon. 
you have like Hayate, who is from Canada. He's an excellent player. You have Dizzy, Rewind. You know, you have these excellent players from the U.S. that are traveling out. The MK fans, it's not like they don't attend these kinds of events. Um, they always travel everywhere. Wherever the competition is, they're always going to be there. And I think, you know, Sonic Fox has lost tournaments on the uh, circuit so far, right? He's lost to Scar and stuff like that. So I don't think it's unlikely that he loses here. But I think he is definitely the favorite, even without the mustache somehow. <laughs> Just like you mentioned, the second place at Combo Breaker, he won at CEO, he won at Evo. It just at times yep. he seems so unstoppable, right? Like he's such a quick study, no matter what character you really give him. I mean, he has his mains, obviously, but it just seems like when, it, when he's on a roll, it's like, it's like juggernaut. You just can't stop him. Yeah, he was, you know, what's funny is he did like a 72-hour marathon stream for charity recently, and he was inviting top players to play him while he was doing it. And he's just picking like any character he wants and he looks so dominant it's just the way he kind of understands the flow of nrs games it's like a very my turn your turn kind of game where i do a move and you block it correctly now it's your turn and like sonic fox understands the mind games behind that so much and he really just steals your turns away and makes his turns feel like they just never end he is just a player who understands like the flow of fighting games so well it's almost he's like a savant like he doesn't always have the most up-to-date ideas and tech and stuff like that but his just understanding of what to do in a fighting game and what his opponent wants to do based on feel is next level. I, there's very few players I can think of that are that good at just feeling what their opponent wants to do and just knowing what it is. Not based on, you know, any kind of like measurable logic, just like I know how you think as a person, which is such a hard opponent to beat, you know, especially when he's like on point and on fire at an event like Evo, almost no chance.